you sure you still want to do this? Yes, the world needs to see this. People need to understand that they can be comfortable being who they really are. It's very important for people to understand that people change. And I think it's a privilege that I was given this opportunity to do this. My parents always thought I was gay, and to be honest, I also thought that for some amount of time. But then after an unpleasant experience with my 7th grade geometry teacher, I found out that that was not the case. And then as I was watching Emily to get my mind off things, it was then that it first hit me. It was then that I knew what I wanted to be. I wanted to be... Well, I wanted to be French. Since I was a young boy, I never seemed to fit in. I tried to be like everybody else in my school, but people could always sense that something was off. I had a craving for smelly cheese and snails sometimes. I wanted to treat my sweethearts to a romantic dinner by the light of the oil fields. My parents never understood me, so they just brought me off as a weird boy with a strange radiation. But when I saw that movie, I had never felt like I had totally identified with anything. Everything just clicked in my head. I, it was like a sign from Allah himself. I was a French man trapped in an Arab squad. Do you hear the people sing, singing a song of angry men? It is this music of a people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drums, there's a life about to start when tomorrow comes. When I came out to the Omar to my parents, they thought it was just a phase and then I'm gonna get out of it. But I knew where I was and I knew what I had to be. Rami realized that this procedure, this ethnic reassignment procedure, it's, it's risky. Uh, it's only been tried a few times and without much success. Our first patient was Daniel Bergoli. She wanted to be trans black. Her father called it something else, but uh, I insisted we uh, call it trans black. Uh, her parents signed off on it, and uh, we certainly tried our best, but uh, I think we all know what happened there. Uh, the procedure nearly stripped me of my practice, and since then, the procedure has been banned. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I mean, once you're under the knife, there's no going back to being Arab. We, oui, I'm sure. That's the kind of commitment I was looking for. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I had to become a mime because I know nothing of the French language, but now I feel free to explore who I am as an individual. I feel like I've come into myself as a person. I can finally be the person I was always meant to be. I walk down the street now, and people give me a certain look. This makes me confident that I am unquestionably French.
Oopsie.